Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Galaxies.dev back with a new app review episode. So today you will learn three things from our applications. You will learn about safe areas, you're gonna learn about colors and you're gonna learn about navigation and especially how not to mess up these things. So let's dive right into today's apps. All right, first step of the day is called Gobbly. The page seems to have no valid certificate and it seems to be in Portuguese, but Ifa Nielsen, uh, who's a longtime follower of the Ionic uh, community and from Mozambique created this application to help local people sell their stuff in their application. So let's check out this application. Should be available on both App Store and iOS. So here we go, Gobbly. I first of all like, by the way, the app icon. So that's a very simple icon. We can't see it in here. Uh, I do like it. You know what I don't like? If I can scroll the login screen. So just said scroll content, why to false. Now, I think I need to insert a telephone number here because it says cellular. And he gave me some credentials, so I'm gonna try them out. By the way, if you have a number input, make sure you're also using the right settings. Um, I don't know if we need any kind of characters, but you could also just have the numpad if you only want to enter numbers. All right, let's go. Intra application. Uh, would you like to know? I mean, it's better than immediately asking for notifications, but it's still a bit early because I don't really know what this is about. So I will say don't allow for now. Okay, what do we got? We do have an interesting concept of a tab bar at the bottom. So this is not your typical tab bar. It's a tiny bit different, but on the other hand, it's only just a tiny bit different. So basically it just has some margin in left and right, a little border and some, some drop shadow. And it's also using the bottom safe area inset, which is usually a good idea, but I would make sure that you're using margin in that place and not padding, because if you're using padding in that box, you see what happens, the box just becomes that big. Instead, you wanna use margin, which is outside of that box. And so the box or the tab bar just has a fixed height. Besides that, it looks somewhat like the Instagram uh, UI. We have some stories at the top, which I can maybe play. Um, okay, we definitely need more padding in these places here, uh, but otherwise that's okay. I got a search which opens a new screen. So I've seen this before, if a new screen opens, opens, there's not really like a back option, although I can use swipe to go back. So whenever you have that, I really want to have like at least a button to go back at the bottom, uh, at the top. So I'm going to press cancel. I assume I can't change my language, so I will just stick with what we got. This is a pretty decent usage of Ionic components. Okay, this is going to mess it up. So if you have a segment at the top and then there was like this button inside of the segments, can you see that? That's probably not what you want. So you need to make sure that this is not inside of that place. Anyway, let's check it out. Uh, again, more padding on those boxes. And besides that, well, I guess it's an application to sell your stuff and find other stuff. You can also create your own profile. So most likely this is my testing profile right here. The fab button here has an interesting place uh, and it opens the bottom sheet. Nice. I like the usage of the bottom sheet uh, and it, yeah, cool. This is a pretty cool usage. Uh, really like that. Also, creator of this app, Ifa Nielsen, seems to really like segments in, in all the places, but he definitely doesn't like back buttons. So make sure you include those. We got a settings page. This is a rock solid application built with Ionic. I can see it. I can see that it's using a lot of stock Ionic components. Ifa Nielsen tried to improve them here and there. We have the custom tab bar uh, on those pages. We have a drop shadow here and there. There might be room for improvement, but overall, it's a decent working application. It seems like it is actively used. So if you're from that area, if you speak this language, which seems to be Portuguese. So do you speak Portuguese in Mozambique? I honestly don't know, I'm sorry. But in that case, give it a try and connect with people around you and sell your stuff with the Gobbly app. Second app of the day is from Asia, who contacted me, who's been following my videos about Ionic as well. A lot of your knowledge to improve my Ionic skills. I'm happy to share those skills and I'm always happy to hear about your application. So drop a comment with one of your applications if you also want to be part of our next review. So his app is built with Vue and Ionic using WordPress as a background. And it's called High Ally League. I think this is how you pronounce this correctly. I don't want to make a mistake. So let's give it a try. High Ally League should be... Oh, nice loading. Ooh, this was fancy. This is not. We don't want to do this in here. So Simonix, don't do this. 
the high ally league would like to send notifications i'm not allowing this immediately in the beginning now let's see what problems we got we actually got something good and something bad we got a good bottom area distance with, from uh the safe area although the tap bar could use some more padding inside at the top i don't know what happened there but we see at the top we're not respecting the safe area. So this is what can happen if you don't respect the safe areas. Some Ionic components or Ionic components usually do this, um, but if this created with view and Ionic, I don't know what went wrong at the top. Uh, nonetheless, I don't speak that language. So once again, <laughs> it's like up to date where I don't speak the language. I think this is just not using the right settings here. So maybe this was built like as a progressive web app. So something completely went wrong in that place with a top notch area. Oh, I can change the language. We can change the language here. Okay, the one that I understand probably the best would be Espanol in this case. <laughs> Let's go with Espanol. Uh, so I will at least understand a bit what's going on in this application. So we get competitions. Um, and this is just nicely using the segments. Actually, those are, I think, the Android segments. Maybe the creator didn't really like the iOS segments. I can understand that they are actually not too cool. And this overlay feels a bit like a website again. Um, so pressing on winter series. Uh, besides that, I kind of like this swiping and the table definitely looks good. It looks like decent web stuff. On the ranking page, we have a nice ranking and a pull to refresh, which definitely feels cool. Let's try to get into a thing. This is cool. This really looks looks really nice. I I guess it was designed for the web. The drop down is cool. Um, maybe that could also use the bottom sheet or like the card overlay on iOS. That would definitely make it feel even better than just being a modal that covers the full screen. No. Tizias is pretty much the same view and the detail view will most likely, yeah, will have some kind of information. That's some decent stuff. It's interesting that it's not showing the tap bar and really going into the details. And also I can't use swipe to go back. So something is definitely odd in this application. Uh, and from the last screen, we get somewhat like the same stuff we've seen before with a profile. Now, one other thing I notice is that at the bottom, if I can reach that button, the tap bar, a uh, primary color is not very clear. So there's not really a clear uh, separation between the inactive and active color. It's hard to see. It looks like the primary color is this beige or whatever you would call that color. So maybe try to introduce a more dominant primary color that would help to, yeah, I think that that color is used across the whole application. So it shouldn't be actually hard if you're using Ionic to retheme your application. That's the cool thing about Ionic apps. If you use like the primary, secondary, warning, danger classes for the colors, you could easily retheme that application. Nonetheless, it looks like a solid application if you're interested in highlights. So you can find it both on the iOS App Store and also the Android Play Store. Check it out if you play this sport. I only know this from Jackass in the past. And they made some funny things with highlight. Uh, so I'm really scared of that support, but if you play it, go check out the app. Third application of the day is from Bishop, submitted on Twitter. Yes, that's a place where you can do as well. It's called Immortal Words. So we don't have to talk about religion here. We're only talking about the app. So I installed it for iOS. Actually, I once again really like the color and that I that is really a nice color. So I'm already convinced of this app. Um, beginning, we already see the same problem we had before. So up in the top right corner, this seems to be stuck too much at the top, I feel. Uh, also, I don't really have to <laughs> scroll this view. And also the buttons at the bottom don't seem to be in the right position. They could be a bit more top. So anyway, I'm going through this. Yes, yes, yes. Like it getting started. Also, what's interesting, I can go back to the intro. So. If you're navigating from one page to another and you don't want to have this, make sure you're setting like the root or uh, replacing the current router stack in those cases. Anyway, uh, on this page, I can't scroll, which is pretty good. So let's try to log in. Oh, I actually can't log in because I have to sign up first. So let's sign up. One minute later. But now pressing sign up, it's not really showing me any error dialogue. So I assume because my password is weak, it's not accepting it, but it's not showing any kind of loading indicator nor uh, error reporting. So definitely make sure that if you want and encourage strong passwords that you at least give the user some feedback. Day two, day three, day four, a few moments later. 
All right, I think it worked. I should get an email. Uh, and yes, I did get a welcome email right now. So this is my code. Oh, very, very interesting. I don't know if this was supposed to happen. But anyway, I'm happy to get finally into the app. Once again, better place to ask for push notifications. Probably not the best yet. So I would really do this uh, as an idea when the user does some kind of action like in this application most likely I can read some quotes or uh, go through some chapters for reading maybe after after I've read the first chapter say hey you want to get a daily read accept the push notification then we're good and I completely understand why I opt into push notifications at that point nonetheless this view is quite cool it doesn't look like your typical ionic view because we got custom cards we got custom shadows and borders maybe I wouldn't use the green border here as well maybe that's too much but that's just a feeling besides that really clean UI uh, tab bar with five icons that usually are very crowded um, so this tab is apparently uh, automatically opening a video I don't know how I feel about that I don't think that just a video is that important to have its own tab icon so really think about what you put behind those tabs because they are always visible they are like the most important parts of your app now this screen has a cool loading skeleton so I highly endorse that skeleton thing however the whole story thing is not really working on that screen we got a traditional fab button at the bottom uh, so let's try create a post yeah that pushes this forward maybe I could actually have this here in a bottom sheet because right now this view to post something feels interesting but I would rather have this like sticky at the bottom so I can always just drag it up as a bottom sheet I think that would be a bit cooler um, I can also search chats and most likely yeah, I can do the same and then I can go back to my account once again cool loading animations found in this place and this is really like a very good template that many applications could use just this general profile thing oh by the way I just had oh with swipe to go back I just left the application so that's definitely something that should not happen I can also go back uh, everywhere I can go back the whole way like everything in this application is just stacked and so I can also just go back all the time all right so within this application I can now uh, watch some stuff I can read cartoons I can read quotes and search for stuff and everything has like oh no I already left the app again so this is definitely a major pain of this application make sure you got that right because I don't want to sign in all the time again so I will try not to use swipe to go back anymore from now on um, I just want to see that here is another problem so I'm going to my profile which is a tab at the bottom but I get this back arrow and that shouldn't really happen because I'm already in my profile and pressing that button brings me back somewhere else to chat so definitely if you use routing in your application like this with ionic make sure that it works correctly because in here we got different errors and problems like showing a back arrow while it shouldn't allowing swipe to go back although it shouldn't be enabled so definitely get that right besides that i think the app is pretty clear um if you're into uh immortal words <laughs> however it's exactly about quote gospels audio cartoons go check it out available on iOS and I don't know if this is also available on Android I would assume it because usually people first submit on Android and then go for iOS I don't know what Bischoff made but you can just reach him on Twitter as well if you get any questions about that app all right and that's it for today's app review I hope you enjoyed those applications I think those were great examples because they were solid applications but each of them had something we could take away from them so the first applications had some problems with the top and the bottom area and the safe areas especially in the notch area on an iOS. The second suffered from probably not having a really good primary color and no clear focus. And the third application had a big, big issue with navigation stacks in that application. So if you also want to be part of the app review, drop your own applications below in the comments and let me know what you think about today's application. And of course, hit the like and subscribe button so you get notified about upcoming app reviews and tutorials on how to make it better. Looking forward to seeing your applications and of course, happy coding, Simon.